Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can automatically detect the length of a video and remove it from the player's viewport when it finishes playing. So to start with, let's just bring in a video. So I will drag in a video from my Windows browser. Just a quick note on this. So in this new file that's been created in Unreal Engine, if I double click to open that up, you will likely see a file path warning that says a selected media file cannot get packaged because it is um, because its path points to a file outside of the project's content directory. So it's very easy to fix this. We can just go back into the Windows browser. I'm going to select the video. I'm going to control C. I'm going to go into the content folder of the Unreal project. Mine is called on Online Tutorials. Uh, yours, I imagine, will be something different. In the content folder, right click, new, create a new folder, call this movies, double click on that folder, control V to paste the video in. I'm just going to minimize that now. Now, if I just hide this out of the way, you see we've got a folder called movies, which has been added to our content folder. I'm going to drag this media source file into the movies folder, just move it there. And finally, I'm just going to redirect the file path to where we've just pasted the video automatically it's actually loaded the correct um, file path so I'm just going to click that video and click on open another warning has gone and that's fixed I can just click on open here just to make sure it's working which it is so that's fine so I'm going to hit save and close that down so I'm going to go into the movies folder the first thing we need to do is create a media player. So I'm going to right click, go to media and media player. And where it says video output, media texture asset, tick that box, click OK. I'm going to call this MP for media player and just video. It's automatically created that media texture. We can right click on the media texture and go up to the top and create material. I'm not sure why it's got the create material twice. I think it could be a bug, but we can just select the top one and call this M underscore video or just M underscore video so M obviously stands for material double click to open that up and all we need to do here is in the left hand side of the, the material panel in the details where it says surface just click on that and change it to user interface drag off of the texture sample and connect that to the final color Hit apply and save and that's all we should have to do we can now close this down so that's great now we've done that we can go into creating a widget so let's right click in the folder go to user interface and widget blueprint there's only one common option which we will use which is the user widget call this WB underscore video and double click to open up this widget all we need to do here is top left hand side search for a canvas panel and drag that in we can hit compile I'm just gonna undock that or reduce the size of that widget because the easiest thing to do here is just to go back into our movies folder and just drag in the video and then just drag it out so it covers the entire canvas what we can also do is in the details panel let me just enlarge that so it covers the entire screen but in the details panel we can anchor this content to certain areas of the canvas in this case we just want to pin it to full screen or the full area of the canvas now in our hierarchy we've got our canvas panel and we've got an image element but in the image slot we have used our material which is our video material so we can hit compile and save and now we just need to go into graph so top right hand side click on graph drag off of event construct and search for open source we're going to have to untick context sensitive to find it and that should connect to the event construct we need a target which is going to be the media player to get the media player, if you click on the plus sign for um, variables, we're going to add a variable. So I'll call this media player. Where it says Boolean, click on that drop down list and search for media player. And you want media player 
object reference and just drag that in and get media player and plug that into target. The other two execution nodes, the event preconstruct and event tick, we can delete. We don't need those. And where it says media source, just click on the drop down and select the video. And one final thing before we move on, make sure you've got the media player node selected. Press compile. And in the details, you've got a field for where you can select the media player. So click on none and then just add in the media player, which is what which is the one that we've just created. So now hit compile save we can actually close this widget down um, because we don't need to do anything further so now let's create the blueprint that will actually trigger the loading and the play of this video so in our folder right click search for blueprint class and then just select actor call this bp that's blueprint underscore video video play something like that and then open this up and then in the components panel click add and search for box collision we'll use this to trigger the um, video playing you can use other options as well but for this we'll just use a simple collision box so we're just gonna make this a bit bigger so it's easier for our character or our, I should say sorry our player to overlap with so I'm just going to drag the blueprint into the level just so it gives me a good idea of the size of the collision box. I mean that looks fine. It might vary depending on what, what you're looking for in your level. So now we've done that we can go to the event graph. We can delete all of the default nodes that are there. Where it says where we've put our box I should say. You can right click on that. Add event and then go to add on component begin overlap. So when our player overlaps with this collision box, it will load the video. So from this new node that we've added, drag off of the top pin, that's the, um, the white arrow, which is the execution pin, or execution socket, and then search for disable input. So when the video plays, this will stop the player from being able to move so they don't keep running around um, and not be able to see themselves running around because the video is playing. So drag off player controller and search for get player controller. And then drag off of target and search for get player character. We can keep those there. That just finds an instance of the player character and the player controller that's playing that game at that time. So drag off of disable input and search for open source. And the target's gonna be a media player. So for this, we need to do what we did before. So if we click on variables and call it media player, and it works with Boolean, search again for media player. and media player object reference is what we're looking for just hit compile at this point and with media player selected in its details on the right hand side we must put in our um, media player that we just created now we can drag it in we're getting an error on open source it's fine it needs a target so just so drag that in get the media player and then plug it into target and hit compile and now that's fixed it. The media source we don't actually need to put anything in there because we've already told it what media source to play in the widget. You can do but you shouldn't need to. So the next thing we're going to do is drag off of open source and create widget and in the class field select the widget we just created which we called what WB video so select that there we can now drag off of the uh, widget node and search for add to uh, viewport. And of the return value of the widget node, plug that into target. And here we're going to drag off and add a delay. I'll explain at the end why we need to add a delay. It doesn't seem to work without this delay, but it will make more sense if I leave that explanation until the end. Okay, so at the moment we have got a video loading 
in a widget and it adds it to the viewport and then it plays it. What we want to do is automatically remove this video when it finishes playing. To do that, there are a couple of nodes we can use. So from media player, drag off and search for get duration. And it's get duration of the media player. And we also need a time span. For a time span node, we can go to variables, click on the plus button, search for time span. Oops, that's not right. Let me just call it time span. And where it says media player, or in this case it says media player, or whatever it says, click on that and search for time span. And then drag in time span, and this time set it. So we're gonna have to sorry, so we're gonna have to drag this down and drag off of the delay and plug that in to the execution pin of time span. And then where we've got get duration, drag off of that and plug that in to time span. And on the right hand side where we've got our blue socket, right click and split structs pin. And then it gives us duration in minutes, seconds, etc. Most videos are going to be hours, minutes, or seconds. This is just seconds, so we can use seconds for this. We can drag off of seconds and again search for delay. So we can tell another delay node exactly how long it needs to delay uh, our next function, which is going to be removing the widget from the viewport. So on completed from the delay node, drag off of that and search for remove from parent. And the target is a widget. We need to give it a target which we can get from the create um, widget node where we've got return value, drag off of that and plug that into target. It's getting a little bit messy here because we've got connection lines going underneath of the nodes so simply if you just hover your mouse over the connection line and then double click it adds a reroute node and we can drag that up we can add another one and then just tidy it up a little bit that looks better I'll just drag those both down so now we're rem so this video plays it gets automatically how long it is adds that to the delay then it removes from parent and then finally, we just need to enable input. And target is going to be get player character. And player controller, drag off of that and get player controller. And when you get player controller, make sure it's in the game section. So we've got, if I can. Let me just narrow down that search a bit. So you've got player state. Don't select that one because it won't work. What we want is game and get player controller. So we select that one for here. We have we can, we could just drag off of these ones that we added at the start, but they're kind of further apart, and it's probably easier just in this case just to add them again. Um, this should work now. So let's hit compile and save. In the media node, obviously make sure you've added the um, media player. Let's go into our level. Now we've got the blueprint lined up there. When we hit play, we're not gonna be able to see it because we didn't add a static mesh or any element like that, but we know where it is, so that's fine. So I hit play, run over. So it's playing the video, and this video is about 16 seconds long. So at the end, this, this video should automatically get removed from the viewport, but let's see if that happens. All right, and I can move my player around. Oops, I've activated the um, blueprint again, but that is all working as expected. If you wanted it to, to do that only once, what you could do is, instead of activating it multiple times, you could just add in a do once. So on component begin overlap, drag off of there and search for do once. And then it'll only activate once. So one thing that I forgot to say at the start as well, if you want sound for your video, if you just go up to the components panel, click add, search for media, uh, media sound, 
and then with media sound selected make sure in the details panel you select the actual media player and that's all you should need to do and sound should work as well so just a final note on regards to this delay here so if you remove this if I remove it it won't work so I can just plug this in and hit compile and save I'm just gonna quickly run into it and nothing happens so what I think is happening is that without the delay it doesn't have a chance to load the video or get the time span so it just goes straight to removing it from parent so if I just add that back in hit play run over to it it plays again so yeah any questions or comments please do say that's great thanks